The 57mm S. Sti anti-aircraft gun was retired from the Soviet era, but during the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, the old man S-60 reappeared, but in the role of self-propelled artillery, on duty to support ground fire. The 57mm S. Sti anti-aircraft gun was developed by the Soviet Union at the end of World War II, but was removed from the Soviet Army's combat service in the early 1970s, when mobile man portable air defense missiles popular. But after the outbreak of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, truck-mounted 57mm S-60 anti-aircraft guns appeared in the Donbass. This was a workaround due to the lack of fire support. The 57mm cannon proved to be an effective weapon against all light armored fighting vehicles and some wooden fortifications. At the same time, the self-propelled chassis makes it possible to quickly leave the battlefield, to avoid counterattacks. After the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, the old man S-60 continued to be trusted. The latest information about the participation of the old men S-60 has appeared on the social networks of both warring sides. During the operation in the city of Lysikansk, the S-60 anti-aircraft guns helped the pro-Russian militias defeat many Ukrainian targets. In recent times, there has been information about Russian S-60s being taken out of storage in large quantities and sent to the Ukrainian battlefield. Analysts say that these anti-aircraft guns will also be mounted on trucks, and continue a new life. After World War II, the S-60 was considered one of the main air defense weapons, and was mass-produced with tens of thousands of guns. In addition, they were also given aid to countries close to the Soviet Union. After anti-aircraft missiles were put into common use, the S-60 was retired from the Soviet Army in the early 1970s. But now, such weapons are being taken out of storage, and they continue to play a new role as direct fire support weapons on the ground. S-60 is an anti-aircraft artillery system, using AZP-57 automatic cannon firing 57mm bullets. Its mission is to fight air and ground targets, at a range of up to 6 km and an altitude of 5 km, with different types of ammunition. S-60 cannon battery up to 8 people. The barrel is relatively long, giving a muzzle velocity of up to 1000 meters per second and a very large straight line firing range. The theoretical rate of fire is 120 rounds per minute, but the reality does not exceed 70 to 75 rounds per minute. The improved S-60 anti-aircraft gun into a self-propelled howitzer is a temporary solution. However it has certain advantages. First of all, maneuverability is improved, as the S-60 uses military off-road truck chassis. The AZP-57 cannon, although more than 70 years old, still shows high combat performance. The cannon is capable of hitting targets at a distance of up to 6 kilometers. In addition, the S-60 is also a relatively effective anti-light vehicle weapon. With conventional high explosive shells, at a distance of 1 km it can penetrate through steel plate 95 to 100 mm thick. With such armor penetration, the S-60 is capable of defeating any modern light armored vehicle on the Ukrainian battlefield. Homemade S-60 self-propelled anti-aircraft gun also has a disadvantage, which is the lack of protection for the crew. Normally, the S-60 anti-aircraft gun has only one protective element, the cannon shield, the addition of protective armor around is absolutely necessary. The S-60 only has an old-fashioned optical sighting system, so accuracy is limited. 
The improved S60 self-propelled gun using a truck chassis, although only a temporary solution, has helped improve the firepower of the pro-Russian Donbass militia, contributing to other fire systems. In addition, combat realities have once again shown the effectiveness of the 57mm cannon in general.